on the grid in the championship to boot Jerry. His rookie season, one win on the season. A handful of drivers also go with the 0 8 car going to win. That's the front of Brian Hogwarts. Glenn Young picked up a win. Dave Titus, Glenn Lawton. Everybody just about said green is not. Also, Teddy Spencer picked up a handful of wins. and see if he can start himself up front. 28 off the base and a piece of metal has come off the back and sitting down on the back straight with our pop with. Like coming off the court of this time, like contact made. Everything's right here. Outside of the car, Frank Rice with the gym in the right rear wheel. Everybody gets caught up there. Looks like Spencer may have a cross with the car. Everybody trying to make it through. Susan out tucks in behind the 71 of Deacon's Harry. Glenn Young, Glenn Young is all by himself, third on the field. Then comes Dave Titus, Titus, with the DJ's loud news, he's got a piece of business, he's also a piece of the to the number 38, trying to get around the number 32 of Billy Goodrow. Goodrow having a good run in that number 32, the response ambulance service, Chevrolet, working his way to the front, that car defeating in the first race in 1999, as he got the run on the number two of Dave Titus, but up front, And look at that three wide action. Getting Spencer going to the middle. Literally gets him to the left rear. Spencer goes around and that brings out the caution. Well, Kevin, you can see it coming. They were racing three wide. Long off turn number four. Green flag is back out. We're back underway. And he's again trying to get back to the front. But they get Barry holding him off off of turn number two. They go double wide. And here comes Young down on the inside. The black and red Pontiac looking for a second. Contact is made. And the left rear tire comes off the wheel. On the 25 of Sousa. Well, everybody was getting crossed up down the back straightaway. Glenn Young dove down to the bottom side. Same thing. Got into the curb, bounced across, and caught Sousa with a rear wheel. And Sousa tried to spin the car around, trying to stay out of harm's way. It looks like he took the left rear right off of the rim. Shouldn't be a big, big deal. It didn't look like he got banged up too much, so they should be they'd possibly able to just change the left rear tire and rejoin the field. Everybody had to scatter 32 of Goodrow and the 70 of Glenn Lawton. Everybody just missing right back down the back straightaway. It looks like a Dr. Tyron out. Susan's going to rejoin the field. A brand new left rear tire on the race car. Especially in a tight one third mile like this. Everybody getting bunched up down the back straightaway. You see Shaw Wooder making some contact. That was pushed in. He ran into Lillwood Cowan. Eddie Ball lets the field go. Here comes the 71. Young to get up and around, and he's bringing with him Billy Goodrow. Diggins buried back on the inside, battling side by side for the lead. This time by with the cross flags. Halfway by, six down, six to go. And across the line, there is a dead heat between Diggins Barry and the red 71, and Young in the black and red 99. Change all that down the back straight away. One of the fastest cars on the racetrack, maybe Billy Goodrow's number 32. He's being held up right now by the 99 of Billy Young. In the mix, about five cars under a blanket. Down the back straightaway, Diggins Barry still sets the pace. Now Dave Knight is in the black too. He's got to work his way up into the top too as he gets underneath the fireball. Off a turn number four, but across the line, get that spot to the fireball. Deep in the back, we are going to win the 10 champions on the infield as he gets put up with some tight traffic there. Doobie he's trying to hold on to that 44 Pontiac from losing ground. Now it got all over the rear bumper of Robbie Bryant. As everybody checked up, Bryant Sousa got into the rear bumper. Crossed up, and now he finds himself racing in the rear with Shaw Woodward. Back up front, Degas Barry still getting some big pressure from Glenn Young. Glenn Young trying to settle in behind him. The big battle right now is between Robbie Doobie. He makes contact with Mike Tracy, and now uh, 0 8 gets involved. Susan gets involved. Doobie's going to the infield. He keeps the metal up on top of the racetrack. The dock is out of the racing room, and they got two to go. Down the back row. Takes another look to the outside of Degas Barry. As they roll off in turn number four, the white flag is high in the air. It's Degas Barry across the line. First Young on the outside, holding on play. Glenn Young try to reel off on the outside. Group of Degas Barry. The Columbus Oil number 71 stays down the bottom side. Checker flag is in the air. This is for the pole. Back to the line. Degas Barry is moving. Glenn Young, Steve Titus, Billy Goodrow, Glenn Long, it's Kenny Spencer. Back to the line. Here they come. Robbie Bryant, the 0, the 25 of Sousa, Lewood Cowett, and the 28. So that will be Sean Woodward.
So that will put Souza in the consolation round by finishing ninth. Eight cars make the move up out of this con seat, out of this heat rather. So he'll have to go to the consolation round, not the way our champion wanted to start off the D'Anthony Vendetti Festival of Racing weekend. Kind of ironic, you know, it all season long, Brian Souza could barely make a mistake on the racetrack as far as the race car went, and then tonight, all the bad luck looks like it may have caught up to him with John McHenry on number 25. We'll throw in the Rocket Roddy Laurel, Paul Van S, James Lawrence, Eddie Gannon, Kenny Bamford, the 36 in St. Pierre, Leroy Hudson, Roller Wheeler, and Billy Wood just about set to go. Eight cars, Wake Kuma, Green is out. Behind Morgan Rook. Sam will try to hold on, try to get down the bottom. Looks like Morrow drives to make it three wide, thinks better of it. He tucks in behind Corey. And here comes the 81 of James Lawrence. Sam going to get shoved out to the outside. He's getting shoved out of the deck. Morrow takes over second. Morrow now trying to battle Paul S. Trying to hold on for third. And the pistol Paul S. is having one of his best runs in a club fantasy number nine. They go up the corner. Just about clear of the burgundy and white number nine. He takes over the third spot. He's qualified pretty well right now. But that's trying to battle back on the inside. Lowell can't get down the bottom. The 98 track champion, James Lawrence, to reel up on the back bumper. He sits fifth on the field. Sample now drops back to sixth. Gannon, Kenny Bamford now is seventh and eighth. Here it comes. was on his roof down the back straightaway. He now tries to get around, and he, get, he can't get the run off the corner on him. Lowell continues to wash out of the corner. He keeps the car down the bottom side of the racetrack. He's he could probably get a run down the bottom of Corey McCoy's number 21. He's got a little push coming up the corner. Leaves the bottom side open. Halfway down, halfway to go. This side Number 55 sat most of the season in the garage. And now it's first time they have brought it out in 1999. And he's on the looking to see the car on the outside. He has to get the Denny Memorial. He had about 12 car length lead, 10 or 12 car length lead over Corey Monroe. Still getting pressure for running all over the single car. All right, up on the outside. Number 21, Vanessa sitting back in the fourth spot, just waiting. Here comes Morris trying to get a run on Vanessa. Eight cars make the move up. Right now, that's Dana Willis, Morris McGrove, Ryan Morrow, Paul Vanessa. The 81 of James Lawrence. Then it's Stanfield of the two. Eddie Cannon in the eighth. One more time around for Willis. Can he hold on? We have to make a mistake all by himself. There's no reason to do Here comes Morrow up on the outside of Corey Monroe. The 65 is off rails tonight. Contact is made in the corner. Monroe gets in the door. Back to the line. Morrow gets in the line. Monroe second. Excuse me, Morrow second. Monroe third. James Lawrence, Paul Van Ness, Dennis Stanfield, Eddie Gannon, and...